what makes Swiss chocolate so good? Huh, I went to the factory once and uh, sometimes those big, big uh, pots of chocolate, you just want to just jump into it and uh, have a bath. <laughs> How's married life treating you? Very good. My husband's right here with me, so he made a trip down under with me and that's really nice. How has tennis changed for women over the years? Sometimes I missed a little bit out on, on the technical stuff, but I think it's uh, harder to just do drop shots or little angles because uh, you don't have much time to do that anymore. But uh, I'd like to see a little bit more of that. Highlight of your career? Probably playing here, winning my first Grand Slam. It was always great to come here and play in Melbourne. I love the crowd. The fans were tremendous to me over the years. I mean. Without them, I wouldn't be able to make six consecutive Grand Slam finals here in Melbourne. So I think uh, to hold up the trophy here at the stadium was uh, probably one of my best moments. If you could meet anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? I think one of my best moments um, on meeting people was uh, Mohamed Amali. Uh, he was uh, Adidas ambassador at that time, uh, so was I. And, uh, this was um, one of the moments I was standing next to him with uh, his daughter, Layla Ali, and uh, you know I had goosebumps all over my body, so that was one of those moments that made it very special. Now it's time for Kia Karaoke. Oh my god, you want me to sing the national anthem? <laughs> You're crazy, you'd run away. <laughs> sing anything by Beyonce. To the left, to the left. No, it's the other way. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Open Drive. Well, take Serena next time. She's a great, great karaoke singer. <laughs>